yeah, here we go. Woo! Two love and unconditional, it's on these loves. It's medicinal, look at the word, it's cynical. Violence against the physical. People ignore the spiritual, take it, but get the minimum. The breath of a baby stone is up as his eyes chosen. Hearts are remaining broken, soaking in this commotion. Most them would not the love, they're refreshed with a thirsty person. Most they didn't get it right in the heart, but it hurts the oh, oh, Father, help us, send some guidance from Sick for the next. We can't grow, never letting love flex. It's atrophy, cardiac arrest with no life to see. Fake hope, love is the greatest and it's twice in need. Give me life and we, us, yes. Need a dose of something that will show us. Unity in numbers that it's time for us to grow. Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Good morning. Welcome to Young. Fake hope, love is ah, the Yes, 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 yes. What's going on, y'all? So, yes, that was just three days. And I got a shout out to our brother, Steve morris who has been like taking all of the footage um all of the recordings on zoom and just you know rendering it down to just a few minutes and so yeah so those are three day recap do me a favor as you were just watching those videos take a moment and think about one word right now take a moment think about one word that would represent your experience this far maybe a word that you're feeling right now after watching the three recap videos that we just played oh uh, just Put a word in the comments in the chat just like what word are you feeling right now um what's you know what's uh, resonating with you as as we move forward blessed community refocused hopeful passionate uh yes together hashtag woo <laughs> yes <laughs> blessed uh, happy team blessed nostalgic joy cared for service great inspired amazed by god involved amen amen and so and so yeah so as we're again we're not done with this is our last session and we are going to open up an opportunity to hear you one last time with the big group towards the end so that we can you know hear from you it's a tradition that we have here at youth on a mission to give the opportunity want to go ahead and hand it over to my brother with the same blessed mother again armando cervantes coming at you from the diocese of orange he is the director of youth and young adult ministry as well as the interim for hispanic ministry let's give him some love y'all what's going on armando good morning thank you for being with us and you know, the reality is, is the world tells us what leadership is. You get books, you get quotes, you can look it up and look at it in millions of ways. And yet there's a part of me that says, I don't want you to kind of look at it that way. Because the world, when we ask the question, what do leaders do? They normally think they lead, right? They guide, they direct, they command, they make things happen. They're, they're active people. They get, they have power and control to change or do things. And yet, is that the leadership that Christ himself is inviting us to. When I, in fact, the better you and I follow, the better leaders we become. And that's a paradox for a lot of people to think about. What, what do you mean, the more I follow, the more I can lead? As the disciples, the followers are following the leader. And yet the leader is saying, be a follower, be a servant, be humble. So everyone's saying, I, you know what, I want to be the first, Jesus. And he says, to be the first, you need to be the last. Great and empowered by Jesus Christ. And that is awesome. But I don't want you just to be a disciple. Because a leader isn't just living discipleship. He and she are making other disciples. And can you be willing to say, I don't want to just be a disciple. I want to make other disciples. See, because that's where leadership is. The action step, the doing something. See, it's easy to say, well, I'd be a disciple. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to pray the rosary. I'm going to go to mass every day. And all of those are great. They, they strengthen us. But if leadership then requires the action out. So the leadership should send you out, to send you forward to be that light for the world. If it's not sending you out, and I'm not saying mass is amazing, rosary is amazing, all of these things nurture us. But if they're not sending us forward, we're not leading, brothers and sisters. We're not doing we're not doing God's will for our lives and for our world. Every moment you and I are being invited to be God's hands and feet in the world, to have the heart of God as we journey into the world. And so many a times you and I are like, oh, maybe it's not me. Maybe I don't do this. No, you know, I don't have a title. The priest should do that. Bro, Vic should do that, right? 
bro, Ryan is amazing. He's the one that should do that. I'm not ready. What if I told you it's not about being ready, right? God, God, God somehow finds a way to qualify those who have been called, right? You walk, you listen, and you share. You know, you and I who are, who are leaders, who are growing, who are learning, we want to jump right to the sharing part because I have so much to tell you. Just shut up and listen to me. I got Jesus' love story for you. And people are like, what? I don't want to talk to you. You know, you're crazy right now. And Jesus is saying, don't start like that. I start with walking with people. Then I listen to people. I don't do the sharing to the last part. And yet we love the sharing at the very beginning. Brothers and sisters, the invitation for you and I is to accompany, to walk with, Because in that accompaniment, that's where those encounters happen. That's where transformation occurs. Come on, y'all. Hey, seriously, I'm just sitting here wanting to just jump out of my seat right now to walk, to listen, and to share. Do me a favor. If I had the emojis right now, the fire emoji, I'd like light up the whole chat with that. So if you have the fire emoji, do me a favor and just like light that up because uh, Armando, brother Armando, what, what, what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we talked about leaders that we look up to, and I picked Saint Therese, the little flower, because she like dedicated her life to God and she did small things and she didn't like try to be famous or anything like big. She just like really dedicated herself. Amen. leadership but we spent a lot of time talking about the leaders that inspire us and um, we all agreed that for us our youth ministers have been a have made a huge impact on our lives and our faith and really inspiring us to ask the hard questions about our faith and really kept us going and um, yeah we all really appreciate our youth ministers and all those are Pauls in our life that help us in that way In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we now come to the last day of our four-day journey here at Youth on a Mission Online 2020. In these past four days, the Lord has equipped each and every one of us with tools to set the world on fire as God has chiseled us like a statue, refining us like gold to set us on a mission, a mission to proclaim the name of Jesus Christ to all we meet and encounter and to be the future leaders of our church. To you as you go forth on your mission Brothers and sisters in Christ, the cross is the foundation of our discipleship. It was through the cross that Christ defeated sin once and for all, giving us hope that all our pain and suffering that we endure in this life will be nothing compared to the eternal glory we will receive one day in heaven. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he uphold you and strengthen you. May he equip you now with all you need to be the new leaders of the church. The same church that Christ founded on the apostles 2,000 years ago. May you be his instrument of love, goodness, courage, patience, kindness, and strength. And may the Lord bless you as you go forward in mission. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And thank you again, Brother Vic, for that beautiful commission, and Armando for just just lighting us on fire even more today, so. Thank you. I'm back. There we go. Beautiful. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and... We are going to um, just choose on a choose, choose you know open up the floor or open up the Zoom room for anyone that would like to 
to share. Um, if you want to <clears throat> unmute yourself, to do a couple spotlights. And if you share a highlight in your youth on a mission experience. Pablo. Um, so um, I thought it was really good this year. The workshops were all really good. Um, my favorite keynote definitely was Armando's. He did a really good job, I think. Um, another highlight for me was the small groups. They're really good. They're a bit short, but they're really good. And um, yeah, just getting to know a lot of new people and just been really great. Um, but I had such an amazing time. Everything, I, all the talks, all of the workshops, it was absolutely amazing. I'm on fire right now. And I'm sad that I was a senior and I only got to experience it as a participant once, but it was just absolutely amazing. I'm just leaving this experience like very inspired, not just to make a difference in my parish, but in all of the communities that I'm a part of. And I just want to thank everyone. How we kind of, you know, uh, even though it's somewhat different from what Jesus suffered, we're still suffering and we, uh, and how we should look uh, to Jesus to help us uh, look for change. Kenzie. Kenzie. I definitely enjoyed my experience with Yom. I would like to thank my youth group leaders for recommending this to me. I definitely have something to take away uh, to bring to my Catholic club at school and hopefully, you know, bring it street evangelization, bring that to you school. Well, this is it, y'all. We are in the home stretch. And um, last thing to do now, thank you for doing your surveys. Uh, last thing to do now, you're just going to check out with your small group leader. You will be dismissed from there. So on behalf of the Youth on a Mission team, and I want to take a moment just to shout out all of the team, every single adult from all the different dioceses for you know your leadership, all the hard work. I mean, there are so many people that put this help put this together even you know that weren't able to be with us in the actual retreat itself or the, during the conference so we just want to take a moment to acknowledge them for all the hard work they did and again on behalf of youth on a mission now it is your turn we're passing we're gonna give you the torch it's time to run the race and it is time to lead so with that being said we are just gonna play our song as we are on our way out and we're gonna send you to your small groups god bless y'all your ability to put all this together and I mean this is the first time you've ever done something like this so to figure out what the flow would be and how it would work is you know very inspiring and, and you did an amazing job I think the teens were were really happy to see each other and to be together and to see leaders um, so thank you for for all your hard work and um, your creativeness it was really fun so, Morris, if you're listening, that's your one compliment.